Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To run a recorded macro, you can click the Macros button that appears in the Macros group on the View tab in the ribbon. And if there are macros that are available to run, you can choose the View Macros command from the button's dropdown. If you don't see this command, then you may not have any recorded macros available for use. Otherwise, once you select this command, you will see the Macros dialog box appear. You use this dialog box to manage your macros. A listing of the macros that are available will appear in the large white list box shown within the Macros dialog box. To run a macro shown in this list, click on its name to select it. Then click the Run button to run the selected macro. You can also delete macros that you no longer want or need using this dialog box. To delete a macro, select the name of the macro from the macro list, and then click the Delete button. You'll need to click the Yes button in the confirmation message box that appears in order to delete the selected macro. Now, once you're finished using the Macros dialog box, just click the Close button to close it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.